Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing the Resident Evil 3 demo. If you want to download this demo, check the link in the description for the Steam page. It's completely free, so just download it and play the game. It's 15 to 30 minutes long. So in comparison to Resident Evil 2 Remake, I noticed that this is running a little bit worse. It depends on what GPU you're using. Usually on the low end you see a very noticeable difference, for example 750Di, but then going to the 1050Di or faster, the differences in performance aren't that big in comparison to the previous game. So if you want to improve the numbers, my recommendation is to lower ambient occlusion. Going from HVAO Plus to SSAO is already like a 10 FPS difference. Then by disabling screen space reflections, yeah, the game looks worse, it feels more flat, to say it in some way but we get another massive FPS boost in general. Then in some cases lowering shadows can help, especially when you are GPU bound. Just make sure to avoid the maximum shadows unless you have like 8 gigabytes of VRAM on your GPU. Then in comparison to the previous game, volumetric lighting quality doesn't have a striking difference in performance like it happened before. I didn't see any obvious volumetric lighting, at least for what I played so far. So maybe in some parts of the game it can make a difference not in the demo, as far as I can tell. So yeah, basically lower screen space reflections, ambient occlusion, volumetric lighting a little bit, and shadows, and that should give you a good improvement in performance. If that's not enough, lower all the options that I didn't mention in groups, and make sure that the VRAM usage bar that is below the options menu stays very close to your actual VRAM amount. So for example, if you have two gigs of VRAM and you're seeing 2.27 or something like that, that's okay. There will be a problem if you go like to 3 gigabytes or 4 gigabytes and you have a 2 gigabyte card. So be mindful of that while playing the game. Another thing I forgot to mention, you can choose between DX12 and DX11. While in Resident Evil 2 it was a very noticeable performance difference between those APIs, DX11 being faster. In this case the performance difference isn't that great, it's like 2 to 5 FPS, but DX11 is still faster, at least for what I played so far and you get lower CPU usage, lower VRAM usage, so I think DX12, at least right now in this demo, is not worth using, just stick to DX11. You can see a comparison of that at the end of the video, so you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah guys, that's about it, I hope you download this demo and have a lot of fun with it, and see you next time!
right?
Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. 